record about cedarwood. So cedarwood, I love this soil and I love the fact that I got this oil for free this month because I use a lot of this. This is one that I will put in a bath blend regularly and I will use in skin blends. Um, so it's from the cedarwood tree. The cedarwood trees um, grow really, really tall. There's a great article on Deterra's website about the cedarwood trees. You can use this to approve, it says approve, I think it should say improve the appearance of skin imperfections. Um, so you can apply it directly. You don't actually need to dilute it. I like to dilute, it makes the oils um, spread further and last longer. Before exercise, massage it onto your chest. It can help to ground and focus your mind before doing your workout. Use it at the end of the day. It's a really wonderful oil for emotional balance and helps to create a relaxing environment. That's why I like it in the bath. It's used in men's aftershave quite often as well. So I'm making this the oil of the week. And one of the things I do like with Deterra's co-impact sourcing and their harvesting, and they actually make sure that none of the tree gets wasted. <laughs> so you can see their little shavings of the seed wood, and that is where the oil comes from. Why would you use cedar wood? Cedar wood is known for its rich hue, its warm woody scent, which is grounding and evocative of wellness and vitality. It's great to blend with bergamot, cinnamon, cypress, jasmine, juniper berry, not all of these in one, you can play around with it. Lemon, patchouli, rose, rosemary, sandalwood, thyme, vetiver and white fair essential oils. Before exercise, um, put it on your chest. That was the one that was on the last slide, isn't it? Um, after a difficult day, use it to relax and soothe your mind and your body. When you apply it topically, it can help keep your skin healthy. You could add it to your usual toner or moisturizer, whatever you already use, if you don't want to just put it straight onto your skin. If you notice that you have got a skin imperfection, just put a drop on, okay? So perhaps like you would maybe have thought of using tea tree or melaleuca in the past. Now, this is a wonderful oil for sleep. It really, really is a good one to put in your sleep blends. It says there, when a child wakes up scared, apply cedar wood to the bottoms of the feet. Now, for, if, 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 if that child was having nightmares, personally, I would put the cedar wood with the juniper berry. Those two together would, would, would be really good um, for that. Cedar wood also repels insects. So this is, um, you'll find this used you'll get cedar wood ornaments to hang in your wardrobe and put in a few drops of cedar wood into your wardrobe will help to uh, repel insects so you could use it in your diffuser um, to repel all kinds of insects um, it says there place a few drops of cedar wood on cotton balls leave them in closets storage boxes to keep moths at bay you can use it in your garden put it in your mulch or your topsoil to repel insects in your garden um, because it's a soothing, calming one, it's great to diffuse at the end of the day. But it's also a good one for, cleanse, for, for cleansing surfaces. So another one that you could add into a spray bottle to use to cleanse surfaces. All of these oils have so many different uses. So I, it's really good to um, people to share what they use it for. So cedar wood, if we kind of look at the emotional aspect of cedar wood, uh, it's the oil of community. Um, so I'm going to just have a little quick read out of emotions and essential oils. Um, so if you're interested in knowing more about the emotions, I've got a course coming up. I'm going to run teaching a little bit more about the emotional aspects of the oils. So cedar wood, the oil of community, brings people together to experience strength and value of community. Those in need of cedar would struggle to form bonds within social groups. Um, there's quite a lot of information here. I'm not going to share all of it now. But so if you struggle to form social bonds, feeling lonely, feeling separate from, from, from the people around you, perhaps feeling a little bit antisocial, this is a, this is a good oil um, to, to use. Um, and I think that's it. Right. So that's it. That's the free oil 